Hey guys, welcome back to RLD Design Innovations. Today we're going to do a project which is typically done in woodworking, which is called Intaja. We're going to do Intaja with the laser engraver. And what Intaja is, is basically taking an image and breaking it up into different components of that image. And each component is a different wood type or dyed wood if you can't get that wood. And typically, after you cut all those pieces out, which is typically done with a scroll saw, you would then sand them to get different elevations or different textures. What we're going to do today is, we're just going to do all the cuttings of Intage using different woods, but better yet, we're going to use the trace capability to take an image using light burn and then cutting those elements out. So let's sit that machine and I'll show you what I'm talking about with some pictures of what Intage is and then we'll get started on the project. Let's get going. Okay, we're down at the computer, and let me show you what Intager is. I'll show you some examples first. Okay, I brought up some images so you can see what Intager is, and then I'll show you on the next screen where these come from. So you can see these are different types of wood, and again, like I said before, they're typically done on a scroll saw, and then you layer them and then sand them to get the textures, get that 3D effect, and typically, the colors that you see here are based on the woods and not dyed or painted. So you can see like the light dark browns, on this one some white, that means it was maybe in like an ash or something like that. Same thing with the dogs, this is, you know, maybe some, you know, oak in here, maybe some pine, you know, ash or mahogany. So you can see different samples and there's thousands and thousands of images of these, just search for Intarsia. So I brought up the diagram to show you really on a simple image how you create this. So I got this from the web and this is free. So you can see it's, it's a flower and these are the cuts that you would make. And they're showing you here in this diagram which way should the grains of the wood go. Also what type of wood you should use. So in our case, we're gonna be using, you know, some dark walnut maybe some medium uh, cuts of wood I have and some real light, light wood. I think I have like a reddish cedar as well. So this will give you an idea of what we're gonna do today and let your imagination go crazy because there's so much out that you can do, which is different than just engraving, but again, taking it to the next level and then using your machine to help you do this type of stuff. So let's uh, switch over to Lightburn. Okay, so I brought the image in. And now the first thing we need to do is trace this image. So I'm gonna hit trace image. I'm gonna go a little dark as we get everything in here. Maybe right, but the first thing we're gonna do, let's select. I think right about there. Let's make this a little long over here so we don't lose a leap. Same thing with over here. And let's just go a little higher. I was close, but same thing here, rather than have a little extra. Now we can go up a little. We don't need all those writings. Right about there, I think we are good then. So I'm gonna hit trace, and I'm gonna move the original image out of the way. And as you can see, here's everything we traced. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up, get rid of what we don't need, but first we have to ungroup everything. So we hit ungroup. Now everything is its own little piece. So what do we do first? Delete and go through and clean this up. We'll fast forward this so you don't have to watch this. Control Z works wonders if you, if you hit something by mistake, like I'm doing right here. So let's zoom in. Everything is clean. Okay, so what do we do now? We have to create all these different layers so we know what we're cutting later. So what is the easiest way to do is we zoom in. I'm gonna select this section right here and I'm gonna create a new layer with that. I'm gonna start with the blue, go right there. And what I'm gonna do is move it out of the way for now, move it over here. I'm now gonna go to this section. I'm gonna do this one. I'm going to go to red. And now I'll move this out of the way. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here. 
and I'm going to do this one. I'm going to go to green. Okay, now move this out of the way. Now I'm going to go to this one down here. And I'm going to pick this mustard color. I'm going to move that out of the way. Okay. Now I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to go here. I'm going to now pick this orange color. Get this out of here. And move this out of the way. And I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go to this light blue. So you can see what we're doing is converting each of these pieces and I'm moving them out of the way. Let me just zoom out a little bit. I'm moving this, this out of the way. Whoops. Move this out over here. I'm going to move this down over here so it's less confusing. Now I'm going to do this piece. We didn't do this one yet. Well, actually, did I? Yes, I did. That's that color. So I did do that one. Now, we have this piece over here. We're going to do this purple color. We're going to move this out of the way. Now, for this layer right here, I'm going to click this whole piece, and I'm going to make it the gray. So now, as you can see, we, we traced it, and we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different pieces, right? And the image, of course, of this are actually seven. So what I want to do first I'm going to make this piece, the ba the main back, probably pine, you know, I mean a regular basswood color. So I'm going to move that out of the way. But how do we do this? What's the easiest way? So what I do is I turn off all the layers and I work backwards. I work from the bottom up. So let me just go here, turn all these off. So right now, all we have is this layer, which, like I said, we'll make this the pine color. Um, and we, you can always put whatever color you want in there. So I'm going to do pine color. I'm going to make this speed. I'll do 10 and max power. We'll do 100. Okay, let me get this set up. Give me a second here. Okay, what I did is I put a piece of wood in there. Let me update the overlay. Let me just change the auto exposure. Make it a little darker. Right about there. Update the overlay. That's good enough. Let me go a little lighter. Okay, update overlay. So now I'm going to put this right about here. Um, and what I did is I just, I'm showing the original bitmap and it has the grain going up and down. So what I did is I put the plywood with the grain going up and down. We have, again, this is output. We have the air on. We're going to go one, um, speed 10, 100. Let me just set up the laser. I didn't focus yet. So let me move it over. Okay. Okay. And obviously, I'll speed up as we uh, begin to cut. And once that does that, I'm just trying to use as least waste as least amount of material as possible. There we go. I'm going to put my uh, inline fan on. And now we're just going to start uh, the engraving. Okay, so let me just start this. Okay, it's cutting it out. Shouldn't take too long. You can see it's cut exactly where I wanted it to cut. Let's see. Here's the first layer of the piece. Now, what do we do next? 
let's zoom in. And the first thing we want to do, let's go back to cuts. And the next layer is going to be the seven layer, which we had. So we'll show that right here. And if you remember, that's going to be this piece right here. That's going to go right there. So now we're going to walk up the tree. And we're going to cut this. So I have, let me figure out what color wood they're saying over here for that piece dark. So I'm going to do, I have some walnut. I'm going to do a piece of walnut. Let's get set up. Let me get the walnut. Okay. I put the walnut in there. Let me update the overlay real quick. It's a beautiful piece of uh, walnut, but let me, and maybe a little difference in thickness. So let me move over here. Let's get a refocus. We'll go over here and we'll just go to the console again and refocus while that's doing that. I'm going to go over here. The darker part of the wood is right over on this pot part up here. So I'm going to go right here, I guess. Let's see, I guess right here. We'll make it right here. It's done. Good. Once almost done with the focus, we are done now again. We're going to turn this guy on now 100. We got to change that. Let's say, let's see speed 10 and power 100. Okay. We're good. Update one more time. Okay. Let's cut this baby out. And we're going to go through this one pedal at a time. I'll show you one more pedal and then I'll do the internet magic and then cut through the others. And then you'll see the finished product ever. But again, this should give you a lot of ideas for taking an image and doing some magic with it. Now, the beautiful thing about this is, can you leave it when it's done and just layer it on there? Yes. But think about it. If you make multiple layers per se of this little I guess this was the stem and then you sand them slightly to give it more of like a bevel edge you could then start making more of like a 3d imaged um, layered cutout of this intarsia which again as i discussed before intarsia typically is wood pieces using the scroll saw and then hand sanded to get the shape and the desired thickness you could do the same here except the cutting and everything is precisely done with the laser after you could after you traced it you cut it and then go from there so this was cut out let's see how this looks i'm going to open this up for a sec get this piece out of here and here is our piece that's going to go on the bottom it's a perfect perfect shape i don't know if you can see this let me get my finger out of the way so you can see that's what's going to happen you're going to start layering all these different colors onto this backboard so I'm going to continue on. You'll, I'll fast forward as we go through this. Again, you use this image right here as a map of what colors you want to do. So this is saying over here, M, which is medium western red seed. I'm going to see if I have any of that, and then we'll come on back. Okay, I found some red Brazilian pear. So I'm going to update the overlay zoom out zoom in rather i should say go over here and now again we're walking up i'm gonna shut this off turn this on let's go to the next one and show this guy and here it is right here again this is going to be for this piece and we're going to do the same for for over here if i'm correct let me see real quick yeah, they're all the same. So we'll make all these leaves the same. I'm going to put it right around here, right there. Now we're going to do this, and this says light western, again, red cedar. I made the bottom these medium, so let me go look to see what I have in a light colored wood to do this one. And I'm going to do a different, even though it says light over here, I'm going to do a different color here. But let's do the, well, let's walk up. Let's see what, actually. Let's look at the layers first, which I should have. Go here. 
shut it off, shut it off. And it's the top one, which is the, if you notice, this is the layer right here. And that is a dark one. So we're going to get a piece of dark walnut to do this little piece right here. Okay, put a piece of walnut in there. Let me update the overlay. Okay, let me move the layers again. I think it's a different uh, thickness as wood. So let's just go over here, do a focus real quick. And then while we're doing that, again, this part of the wood is the darkest right here. So I'm going to go right over here. That's pretty good. Now, first thing we do, before I cut it, change the power. Do 10 and 100 power. Okay, let's cut this out. I know I get received a bunch of emails asking about the camera system on this X2 S1. It's on my Etsy store and we will be having um, Christmas specials later on. So just get ready for that as well. And as you can see, it's very, very accurate. Many people have purchased this through Etsy and other resources. So i um, getting great feedback on it. All right. So here's this piece right here. So now that was the last piece. I'm going to take that out, put all the pieces together and then glue them to the back of board that we cut. And then from there, we'll talk about how the finished product for now and what can be done after. So today we created an Intaja project. We took an Intaja template, traced it, and then we broke those components into individual layers. And then we cut out material for each different piece. We used walnut, we used birch, we used light pear, we used some bass. So we have those pieces right there. I put them together. I left slight gap between because I like how that looks. But you can also fill that with, say, black epoxy or green epoxy, any accent color that you would like. I like the look and feel how this is, so I'm going to leave it like this. The only thing I'm going to do is once this dries, I just glued it. I'm going to do a light sand on this, and then I'm going to spray this with a polyurethane just to spray a shiny polyurethane just to protect it give it a little shine and we'll go from there so i hope you had a good time today i hope you learned something that's the most important thing is that you learned something new and you enjoyed it please subscribe and we'll talk soon again the cameras that i used on my x tool s1 is on my etsy store so check it out and check back around christmas time thanksgiving that you'll see some exciting deals going on Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend.